in rural Polk County. In a secluded spot miles from the nearest town, nature's siren song echoes through the trees. Twice a month on Saturday night, a 100-year-old schoolhouse becomes one of northwestern Wisconsin's most unique music venues. I got the calling, and once you get the calling, it's obvious to me that I have to answer it. I said, flip, flop, and fly. Manfred Schunauer grew up near Cologne, Germany. The son of a musician, Manfred discovered his calling at a young age. Because I wanted to be a musician, but my dad say, said, you got to have a full-time job, you got to have a real job, you know what I mean, that same old, same old thing. So he had put me into um, a trade school and to be a clerk, an import-export clerk, which I just hated every single day. Manfred played gigs on the weekends until he had enough money to become a traveling keyboard player. One day, after a gig in Spain, opportunity knocked. I got a knock on the door and, and the lady says, Manfred, they are regrouping a band and they might have a chance to go to America. I said, I'm your man, I'm your man. In 1972, Manfred moved to America and eventually landed in Minneapolis. And this is the band that I, uh, that, that I came with to the Twin Cities. After a few years, he chose to trade Twin Cities traffic for the country life in Wisconsin. If home is where the heart is, Manfred decided that's where his keyboards should be as well. Let's look at churches, schoolhouses, factories, whatever it is, but have a country setting. And uh, then we both started rolling in 87, we found this. The Pipe Lake Public Schoolhouse in eastern Polk County. It's so remote, it's almost hard to find by accident. The closest town is nearly 10 miles away. Manfred not only performs here, he lives here. And a refrigerator, stove, toilet, not much more than you need. You know, I didn't know anything about heating or plumbing. <laughs> when he moved in, yeah, it was a lot of work, you know. Manfred gave the two-room school a makeover. He turned the upstairs classroom into a concert hall. This is now the kitchen and used to be the original kitchen too. Until the basement became a living the, space for him and his wife. There. After years as a transient musician, Manfred was finally home. It's inspirational, you know, and it's just, I just love it really. I mean, there, yeah. if you listen to that, <laughs> it's just great. His dream realized, Manfred renamed the building the Pipe Dream Center. Here it is, the building, the place, my own music, yeah! You know, and it, it grew from there. I started writing my own music, electronic music. This was my first setting for my first concert. And a lot of people showed up and I played electronic music and people wanted to hear Beethoven and Mozart. Ooh, I was in trouble. <laughs> Manfred wanted to keep the crowds coming, and so the Boogie Nights concert series was born. Now by the blue said a baby, the little baby rock and roll. Boogie Nights are kind of loose. We don't have a, like a set list, you know, number one, number two, number three. We don't, never know the, the next tune. I call them out and we play what we feel like. Twice a month during the summer, Manfred brings musicians from across the Midwest together for these Saturday night jam sessions. Fans pack the house, literally, to hear Manfred's version of schoolhouse rock. Somehow they find their way to the Pipe Dream Center. That's really kind of cool. That's really kind of neat. When it comes to my girl. Some say you shouldn't bring your work home with you. Oh, things are getting funny. All over the world. But for Manfred Schoenauer, working from home suits him just fine. In the beginning, when I had to do all this physical work here, you know, the, the floors and, and the walls and everything else, I thought, is there ever going to come a day when I just can go upstairs and play? And the day is here. That day is here. <laughs> Holy man, how about that? <laughs> 